Well, it's time for some good coffee and some good word. I say I've been watching some of this stuff on the elections and debates and press conferences and all of these things. And well, it brought me this morning to Jeremiah chapter 23. I'm looking specifically here at verse 30. The Lord says, Therefore, take note. This is the Lord speaking to Jeremiah. Take note. Write this down. I'm against the prophets, the Lord declares, who steal my words from each other. I'm against the prophets, the Lord declare, who use their own tongues to deliver the future. I'm against those who prophesy false dreams, the Lord declares, telling them and leading my people astray with their falsehoods and their boasting. It was not I who sent or commanded them, and they are of no benefit at all to these people. This is what the Lord declares. <laughs> you know, all these things going on, and some people say, well, no, this one, this one, this one. You know, we got to follow this person, we got to follow that person. You know, you got to follow, you got to follow God. God says, I'm telling you, he said, just for the fact that they can boast and speak well and speak to you what they say the future is going to be, look, God holds the future. God says, I am the one <laughs> who has set up the, what the future is to be. You know, I do believe strongly that if people get the leader that they deserve, and I think we're seeing that more and more often in this nation. But that does not mean that we're not to be in prayer for our leaders and to be in prayer for our nation. I want you to be thinking about that more and more as the, as this election year progresses. I want you to be in prayer for those that are in authority over us. But at the same time, I want to pray for us all to use wisdom, knowledge, and discernment as we go into the into the voting booth. We have an obligation. But I want you to think above all things is how does this line up with the Word and with the will of God? So let me pray for you this morning. Father God, give us all wisdom, knowledge, and discernment. And Lord God, give us patience and peace in the way that we act and interact with others. Lord God, I pray a blessing upon all those in the sound of my voice. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, I got to go into the hospital here, and I got a few people to visit with and pray with this morning. So maybe you can lift me up a little bit in what I have to get done this morning. Look, y'all have a great and wonderful day, and I'll catch up with y'all real soon.